Hey, YouTube fam. Look at what we got going on here today. Yeah. It's been hammering. It started raining all night long. And now it's pouring down snow. So I just wanted to show you all real quick my rain catch system. So all you need is a tarp. You see, and it's catching all this snow here. And it drains off and drains down and fills up these. And as you can see, look. Since this morning, I was able to fill this, fill this, fill this, and fill up several other jugs. And that's where I wash dishes is in that cooler. So, but man, it's hammering. So we're not going to be out here long. But I hope you're having a great Friday. I hope your Friday's better than ours out here. And real quick, I just wanted to show you, if you are stranded in a blizzard and you want to crank up your generator, but your pull string breaks. So, see, you take off this housing right here, and this is your pull string is connected to this. Take all that off, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to crank it without a pull string. Get you a strap, like a, from a ratchet strap, just a very thin strap. You take it and you weave it around here, like so. But this is survival in a blizzard right here, yeah. So you got it wrapped around like so. Now I'm just gonna. And that is how you crank up a generator in a blizzard without a strap, or I mean without a pull string. <laughs> so I wanted to crank up the generator to show you. Whew. Hey, say hello, boy. So this is the cabin. And I got this fancy new light on here. Let's see if we can get it going. Oh boy. And this is Boots. Say hi, Boots. Clean the camera. This is Boots. Say hello, Boots. That's Boots Boy. And I got Boots for the weekend because my daughter is on vacation. So I get to get him every other week or every few weeks or so. And he's just a happy little boy. Say hi, Boots. Okay, I'm going to get down. And these are the girls. Say hey, girl. But I just wanted to show you all the cabin. And check out these cool lights. I got up here. And watch this. Talk about setting the mood. It goes white, red, green. Blue and white, and white's the brightest. And boy is always messing with Nipsey, and Nipsey's always growling. And old Zoom over there, she's just an old girl, and they're they're hating having to be in here in this weather. But there's not much to do except they run outside for a little while, and they come in and warm up and repeat that. So, but check out the fire. We got a nice fire going. And I just got a new camera set up. <laughs> Say hi then. And uh, it's got a microphone on it, guys. A wind microphone and this nifty LED light. So as you can see, we are staying warm and toasty in here, huh? The... Jimmy's saying hi. Jimmy's the queen. Hey, bye, guys. Boy, I know. <sighs> but y'all can see there's the wood stash. I'm going outside. I'm going outside. Come on. There they go. Come on. So, but, so anyways, how you guys doing? So, it has been a snowy few weeks. 
And I just wanted to say hello and welcome to the cabin again. That was my first time using this light. But uh, this thing's got a tilt on it. All kinds of cool stuff, man. So, just got to figure out how to get this. All, right. All kinds of neat stuff. So I hope you're having a good Friday out here. And um, it's been a nasty one, but uh, I hate to say it, but I, I guessed right. Our theory was correct with the Kansas City 3. Um, it turns out that the toxicology report, there was cocaine. Uh, I, I'm not going to say that. Coca-Cola, we'll call it Coca-Cola. Uh, and Fetty, which is Fent. And you know what drug that is, the one that's been um, unaliving everybody. So we got to watch our language I've learned on YouTube. So um, it was a, seems like it was a mixture of the Coca-Cola and the Fetty, Fentany, um, which is unfortunate, but we kind of guessed right on that. So um, yeah, it's, it's killing a lot of people, guys. I hate to say it. it's coming up through the Mexican border. And uh, it's coming through drug meals, and it's from China. And it's Chinese fentanyl, and uh, it is uh, just destroying our society, guys. It's super sad. I know people personally that have lost loved ones over this. So, um, but other than that, there was uh, THC in their systems, and that really didn't have, uh, really didn't make a difference with anything. Uh, but the Fetty and the Coke together, it's it's a weird combination because they're two opposite, you know, two opposite type drugs. So to have both of those in their system at the same time, you know, they call that a speedball uh, from back in the day. It's called a speedball. So it's like uppers and downers together. And when you mix the two guys, your body doesn't like that very much at all. A lot of famous people have died from speedball, including members of the Grateful Dead. Uh, a lot of famous rock and roll musicians and stuff have perished from speedballs. I forgot I had didn't have the fire open for you guys, duh. But this is great because it's, it's snowing and raining out, and we're filling up every. So I got buckets out there that I'm filling up. We got a ton of water, and this is a great time to collect a bunch of rainwater. So I collect it in five gallon jugs and and these uh, big pots out here, and I keep it covered and keep it in the shade. And it keeps it real nice um, so it doesn't spoil or anything. Uh, but then you have a bunch of drinking water for the dogs. You got drinking water for yourself. You got washing water for the dishes. You can take baths in it. Oh, I forgot to show you. I also have a kiddie pool out there. One of those blue kiddie pools. One of those big blue kiddie pools. I leave that out in these rains and snows and it fills up. And the dogs like to play in it and drink out of it and all that. And um, But I wanted to come live uh real quick so this is supposed to be a survival episode but due to the weather obviously I had to switch it up the the air is so humid it's hard to uh get you know rub sticks together and get it a fire going because you need real dry air dry weather uh and dry sticks so this is the setup i got right here and this is the stick i got i've been practicing so it takes muscles guys and it's muscles that you don't usually use you know, rubbing sticks together. And you want to use a real light, soft wood, but we're going to have a whole new, another survival special on that. But I wanted to switch it up a little bit, so we're going to go over lighter knot on this um, segment. So, um, but before we do that, I wanted to stay back on track with the Kansas City uh, 3. I call it the Kansas City 3, the unfortunate 3. Um, how, what, what could these guys have done or what can you do at home to maybe save somebody's life one day? And I got this stuff right here. So you can get this stuff for free. They get handed out at like, uh, at the, um, health clinics and stuff. You can get it for free a lot. And this is Narcan. I don't want to show you this up close. Narcan nasal spray. And I care. So. I work festivals, I work EMT at festivals in the summer at Tico time. And this is my bug out, my medical bug out kit. And that's going to be on another survival episode. But I just wanted to show you what real Narcan is. And it's a one-time shot nasal spray that you pop out. And you just 
Uh oh, we're losing the the generators went off, but that's all right. So you take this and you just spray it in a person's nose who's overdosing on, say, Fetty or any type of opiates. So if someone's falling out from the evil Fetty, this is what can save their lives. And if those poor three souls would have had this and someone could have administered it to them, they would have lived. I hate to say, I mean, it's unfortunate. But I, I have like five boxes of this stuff, guys. I carry it around. I give it out anytime somebody wants some. I, I hand it out. The other thing I wanted to show you, I always keep this big giant bag of this. Look, these are fentanyl test strips. And I have a big bowl of these and I offer them at festivals at Tico time. I hand them out to everyone and they're free. And it's, this is a strip and you just tear it open like this. I'm not gonna waste it, but and you just tear it open and it's a strip just kind of like uh, kind of like a birth control strip. So what you do is you take whatever drugs you have. And like I say, we don't judge here, but say your friends have some drugs. They want to test it for fit Fetty. Uh, you, you take a couple little tiny, little tiny scoops with a knife and you do three of those scoops, one, two, three, and do a little cap, a bottle cap. And then you fill that bottle cap with water. And then you sit there and you, you take a little pencil or a stick and you dissolve the stuff in there. So then you have a dissolved solution. And then you take this test strip, you open this up, slide it out, and you dip it in the water and you wait until the allotted time. I think it's like five minutes. And then the lines will come up and it'll show exactly what drugs are in whatever you think that you have in your bag. So <clears throat> it'll show up a bright red line if it's Fetty. And uh, that's how you know how you can you can save lives with this stuff right here. And like I said, I got at least 60 in this bag right here. And I hand them out like crazy, man. I offer them to people. Uh, you never know when this could save somebody's life. Uh, it's good to have in your glove box in case you come along somebody that is ODing. Uh, this is real something really great to have. And I suggest you get it. And it's called Rapid Response Drug Test Fentanyl Test Strip. For forensic use only is what this says. But, um, and then it says like positive is one line, negative is two lines and invalid is it'll run blank, but it's just like a birth control test. See if you can see that up close. I think everything's backwards for some reason, but <clears throat> so anyway, that's that. And, uh, I recommend you guys get some, you can got, get these online on eBay. You get them, uh, hold on, my pups one in, you can get them all. <clears throat> easily online or even at your local come on girls come on boy i worry about boy out there with the birds of prey and the coyotes so little so let's go to the next part of the segment so put this narcan away so i wanted to show you this is pitch pine and it has many different names all over the U.S. Names. So I'm from, I grew up in Alabama, and it this is and comes in all pine trees. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to show you up close. Well, you see this shiny vein right here? This is called lighter knot or pitch pine. Uh, in Alabama, we growing up, we called it lighter knot or knotty pine. And uh, Hank Williams Jr. sings about uh, Naughty Pine. Oh. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Snowy girls and boys. So. Okay. So that's the, this is uh, the vein of Naughty Pine right here. Hey, 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 cut it out. Cut it out, you. All boy wants to do is play, play, play. So we're going to extract a piece of this naughty pine because I want to t talk to you about this. All over the United States, it has different names. It's called from pitch, lighter knot, naughty pine, kindling, heart of heart of pine, fat wood, fat lighter, lighter wood, rich lighter, pine knot, fat stick, and lighter pine. And uh, so that's all the different names in the U.S. And it usually varies from region to region, the north and the south. Everyone has their name for this. So what is this stuff? 
This is a vein that runs through the heart of the pine tree. Oh boy, heart of the pine tree. And it is petrified pine sap. And it becomes flammable. So this stuff right here is really valuable in a survival situation because this is flammable pine sap and is petrified in the heart of this. This is a section of pine that I split and I found this not this pine sap right here, this knotty pine. So it's real. You want to be able to extract this out. You use a knife. And while we're talking about that, this is a Leatherman, guys. While we're talking about survival, and a, many of you know what a Leatherman is. Uh, it's a multi-tool. Very comes in very handy survival and backcountry situations. So it's got real sharp knives and um, screwdrivers. Pliers, all kinds of files, uh, bottle openers, can opener. So it's made for the back country. So I really like a Leatherman. So what we're going to do is just take this and just see if we can extract this vein a little bit for you. And even the shavings, even if you can get these little shavings off. I want to get a good piece. So this stuff right here is worth its weight in gold, guys. And it, light or not, go, comes with any pine tree. But it's mainly in the southeastern United States. Uh, there's a lot of pine over there. And I just want to show you, it's almost translucent. It's shiny. But this right here is gold, guys. I just want to show you. So you just take your lighter. And look. Look how it flames up, guys. It's almost dangerous how flammable this stuff is. But this is the real deal lighter knot Colorado Ponderosa pine. So this is a piece of Ponderosa pine. And look how hot and and it burns a, a dark smoke. But you talk about in a survival situation, guys, you get your little fire going and you find an old pine stump. So you can find a lot of this lighter knot in pine stumps, guys. Old pine stumps, you can bust them loose if you have a hammer or shovel or something. You bust up the old pine, and in the middle of the pine tree, in the pine stumps. But look, you just blow it out. It's, it's better than a match, guys. It's the best stuff. Mother Nature put this on Earth for us. Here, I'll take another piece off of this off. Check this out. But I'm a huge fan of this stuff. And you can shave it off and whittle it off in these sections. This is a glorious piece. So what I like to do, if you find a piece of this in the woods, carry a bunch of these shavings in a Ziploc bag to keep them waterproof. So if it's a day like today when it's pouring down rain and snow, you can have these shavings ready in an emergency situation. You talk about starting a fire, guys, quick. You can get some light sticks and put this and watch. Ready? Look. Here. You hear it? It's sizzling because it's so flammable. It's almost like it's soaked in kerosene, guys. It's so wild. Hey, cut it out, guys. I'm having to referee these puppies. But look at that. Look how hot it burns. It smells like kerosene, too, when it burns. But that even one little piece like this, guys, could save your life. So this is something to remember when you're in the backcountry. And you're dying to start a fire, find an old pine stump or old pine log that's laying down on the ground. And it can be rotten as can be, but this, the vein that's inside this petrified pine sap, look, this is an old stinking rotty, rotten piece of wood. You would never think that this wood right here would have something super valuable inside. And it's this vein right here, this heart of pine. And our ancestors have been harvesting this stuff for hundreds of years, man, since they made it to North America. And it, I would, man, this stuff is so valuable. It's almost worth harvesting and selling, you know, like in little bags, you know, like <laughs> instead of firewood, you sell little bags of this stuff for big money, you know. So that's that, guys. I hope you learned a little bit of, about lighter knot today or fat lighter or knotty pine or pine knot or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, but... 
I challenge you to go out and find you some pine stumps and harvest your own lighter knot. This stuff right here makes great gifts. If you cut it in shavings, you can give it a little bags like uh, for Christmas presents or birthday presents. Your family would be like, what the hell is this? And then you show them when you take that lighter and you hit it on there. Look how quick it light. That's the quickest lighting wood on earth. That, this is the quickest, most flammable type of wood on earth, guys. It does, I mean... Mother Nature and the Creator put this on earth for us to use, to survive with. So I challenge you to go out and harvest yourself some heart of pine. Because it could save your life one day. But other than that, guys, I'm going to show you around the girls again. Got my cheat sheet right here. But, you know the dead giveaway about the Kansas City 3 was the jeopardy for me i hate to say it but watching reruns of jeopardy that's a dead giveaway for the coca-cola right there that's something that coca-cola folks do um we had it dead right dead nuts pinned it so like i said y'all stick around man we our theories are coming true um this is the second one we had another theory that came true about ian o'brien um both his transponder and his cell phone both went dead at the same time. And the theory I came up with is that he had to have fallen in water for them to both die at the same time. Everyone thought it got crushed and all the stuff or someone found him. Everyone thought a lot more nefarious things had happened. But it was simple as falling in water and electronics failing. And we were correct on that, so... Um, we're hitting it pretty good lately, so stick around and stay tuned because we got a lot of action coming up soon. Uh, once this weather moves on, we're going to keep doing these live Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time, guys. So I hope you guys set your alarm clocks, and I'm going to be sending out notifications for this. And we're going to keep the shorts going. But as always, thank y'all so much for swinging by and your very kind comments. Um, it means the world to me. I love y'all and appreciate it. And boy, going wild on that. And uh, I hope you have a great weekend this weekend. I hope the weather's better where you're at. And uh, check out the new digs in the channel. I got a new description. Uh, we got a new banner, a uh, new name of the channel. And uh, we're, we're going with a whole new vibe. So I want to thank y'all so much. Oh, Nipsey's so sad because she has to deal with a puppy today. Oh, poor Nipsey. But again, guys, thanks so much for swinging by. Hit that like and subscribe. And maybe the notification bell on the way out. And blessings to you. Have a good week.